Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I'm back with another wig review. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing an Afro wig from Yes Girl Hair. I know how much y'all love my Afro wig tutorials. So we're about to review this wig and we're gonna style it and let's see what we come up with. So this is what the box looks like. And the wig comes in this cute little dust bag. Um, I have the stocking cap, but I already have my own. And it has a card with instructions. Okay, this is cute, it's kind of cute. And then you get some clips, these little leopard clips and then the duck clips. Okay, the girls on the, on the package they're eating. It looks really cute. All right. So let's put my stocking cap on. Okay. So <laughs> this is the wig out the package. And let's see the cap construction. So this seems like it's gonna be a bit snug, which I don't mind, but this is what it looks like. So this is the top and yeah, the back. It has three combs on it and it has an adjustable band. And then you also have the bands on the side. So let me go ahead and put these bands on, clip these up here. Okay, so y'all, this is the moment of truth. So y'all remember the Proud Family movie, <laughs> Dr. Carver? That's what it's given, but it's okay. So let's see what we can do. If you see me looking down, it's because my mirror is down here. Okay. She's starting to do a little something. Y'all, this is a lot of hair. I think what I'm gonna have to do is turn it around and wear it backwards because all of the weight is falling up here. I wonder if I could put um, some perm rods in this. I feel like if it was like a curly afro, that would be so cute. Okay, this is okay, it's okay. I feel like it needs to be shaped some more, but it's it's okay. Now, let's try it the other way. Let's see. Um, <laughs> um, let's pick her out. Mm. 
I feel like this might be the one time where wearing my wig backwards is not working. I feel like it could, but it's not like a huge difference. Okay, we're just gonna put it back on this way. Okay, let's slide this wig up and slide these combs in. Ugh. okay y'all i look like bb from the proud family but like no okay it's cute so what i need is for it to dry so it can you know start maintaining the shape that i want let's see let's pull it back a little bit so i got a little bang going on over my eyes So what I will say is that this wig does require like a certain amount of styling just because I'm not sure, but I think this is human hair. So when you have synthetic hair, it kind of just maintains the shape that you put it in. Like my synthetic Afro wigs maintain their shape. Like once it's there, it's there. I don't really have to do anything to it. Um, this one, you know, not so much. I feel like I have to keep fluffing it. But you know what? It's not bad because this looks really natural. I'm looking at myself in my mirror and I feel like this is my hair. I love this color. Um, this is like a two. It's like a nice dark brown. Yeah. And with my shirt, I feel like I'm back in the 70s. I feel like Jackson 5. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, uh, mm, mm, uh. Dum, Okay. <laughs> Not the lost member of the Jackson 5, okay? <laughs> Please. Okay. Um, Let's just kind of fluff it up a little. Let's see what the back is giving. I hate when my afro is flat in the bit. Is it flat? <laughs> I hate when it's flat in the back. So yeah, that's what I was saying about like human hair. It doesn't really maintain the shape of synthetic the way that synthetic hair does. It doesn't really stand up in the middle and in the back the way that I want it to. How, ooh, <laughs> okay, we do. So I was saying, you know, the hair is not, okay, let's do it again. So I was saying that the hair doesn't really stand up the way that I want it to in the middle and in the back. However, it does look supernatural. So if anything, you know, throughout the day while I'm wearing this, just pick it out. But
Okay, so looking at the card, you know, this is a little card that it comes with and it has care instructions here. So this is human hair, which I was right about, and you should co-wash it once a week, um, deep condition it once a week, and then allow the hair to air dry. So it says to only comb through the hair when it's damp or after applying some conditioner. Um, and you can apply heat to this hair. So I do think that's pretty cool. I don't have like a, a curling wand, but I feel like putting some perm rods in this would be so dope. Like, I just wanna see, can I get some ringlets in it? I think that would be so nice. Um, yeah, I do need to put some conditioner in the hair. It's soft, but it does look a little dry. Um, I just need something to moisturize it, but... Okay, I can say, I can say that I'm impressed. Again, one thing to note is that human hair Afro wigs are totally different than synthetic hair Afro wigs, and that is okay. Um, it just depends on how natural you want it to look and how long you want it to last and how much maintenance you're willing to put into it. And let's also remember that you cannot take a wig directly out the box and put it on your head and think you just about to go out like that because no, you know, I had to do some styling to this wig to make it look like this. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I would give this wig an eight out of 10. I think it's super cute. I love the color. Um, as far as the cap, it is pretty adjustable. I, I would say that this is big head friendly. Um, it's perfect against my skin tone. And yeah. Well, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Shade Not Adieu, and I will see you in the next one.